Hello, I'm Tony Vlahos for ExecuNet. Thanks as always for tuning in. Uncertainty, fear, restlessness, the desire for fulfillment. These are just a few of the things that many of us have experienced in our jobs recently. With me today to talk about an alternative that can answer what you might be feeling is Pete Gilfillan. Pete's an acclaimed entrepreneurial coach here at ExecuNet and a best-selling author. And he's here to tell you about a career path many executives have chosen called franchise ownership. Pete, thanks for joining me. It's a pleasure to be here, Tony. Pete, what is an executive franchise and why is it such an attractive alternative to traditional corporate life? Yeah, so Tony, when we talk about the executive model uh, franchisee, that is a level of engagement. And what we kind of talk about is with the uh, executive franchisees, you're really leveraging your business acumen, your capital to build a business that gives you a good return. Now you want to work on it, not in it. So if you own a painting franchise, you don't want to be the one painting the houses, right? Or if it's a sub franchise, you don't want to be the one behind the counter seven days a week making sub sandwiches. You want to basically work on the business. So you uh, basically keep your corporate position, you hire a manager, you watch over that manager 15 or 20 hours a week. You're really responsible for the leadership, managing that manager, planning the marketing, but you're not the one making sub sandwiches and you're not making, you know, or painting houses and stuff like that. So when we talk about the executive model, you could choose to be involved in it full time. So 40 or 50 hours a week doesn't mean you're making sub sandwiches or painting, but the idea is you're involved in it 40, 50 hours a week. And then there's what we call semi-absentee, which we see a lot of executives, Tony, leverage, where they keep their corporate position, they start the business, they put a manager place, they watch over that manager 15 or, or 20 hours a week. Now, what's attractive to uh, executives as they look at the executive model franchise is that number one, they can bring all their business acumen and leadership skills. So they can take what they've learned in the corporate world and they can apply it to building their own business. The executive model also allows them, as we talked about earlier, about working on the business, not in the business. So I don't have to be doing whatever it is uh, from the standpoint, so I could be leading. Uh, and they get to build their own business and be directly rewarded. I mean, I've talked to guys that in corporations where they've started a, a company within a large corporation, they build it, they grow it, and then all of a sudden they get transferred to a new job. <laughs> they didn't get any credit for what they build uh, from that standpoint. So they just want to build and be rewarded for it. They want to create career and income security. Uh, the executive model franchisee allows them to do that because they're starting that business on the side. So a corporation can never mess with them. And they want to diversify their assets and their income. They want to set up their future or, or slash retirement, right? This, I, this idea that I can go do something that I enjoy down the line and still have an income going into retirement or, or just having complete control over my life. In, in others, they really like uh, the executive model because again, this idea is that you can make an impact in your community. You can be creating jobs, which is so important. Uh, putting a great experience on for your community. Um, and so they really do enjoy that. What an awesome description of a really different path. Very, very attractive. Thank you. You're welcome. 